What is up everybody? This is Ambulance Boy and today I'm going to be reviewing and comparing these two jackets. The one on the left is a Rothko Ultra Force M65 field jacket and the one on the right is, as you can probably tell, a genuine issue M65 field jacket. Um, this jacket was made by Golden MFG Company Inc. This is a medium short, and this is a extra large. I know they're two completely different sizes, but I could not pass up the price for this one for $10 at a flea market. Uh, this one I paid $40 for at an Army and Navy store. Uh, the reason I paid $40 for this was because I wanted the U.S. Army name tape as well as the Lewis name tape and the American flag. So I just wanted one that looked, you know, genuine with all the insignia still attached to it. So let's go over the front of these two jackets. As you can tell, this one is worn. It's, it has all these little um, things hanging off, but you know, it's still holding up well. I've been wearing this pretty much like every single day and it hasn't aged since I bought it, which was, um, a while ago actually so this is a really good jacket this one I just got recently so both of them have the four pockets two in the front two in the top sorry and then two on the bottom which are the bigger pockets has the same thing one thing I don't like about the Rothko one is that these buttons are just like not not that they're huge but that they just, it's so easy to take them off compared, compared to the military one, which is just, it really stays on there, which is something I like. Um, now, it doesn't really matter as much with the pockets because that's not going to have too much, you know, um, force exerted on it, so they won't just pop open. But for definitely when you're buttoning up this part of the jacket, over the zipper it just comes off really easily unlike the military issue which has good quality buttons and just stays in place so that's one thing I don't like about this jacket and love about this jacket uh, so let's go over the zippers of these two jackets the genuine issue has a nice plastic zipper now I say nice because it makes much less noise than the previous version of this jacket, which was in olive drab, it had a brass zipper. Sometimes they had silver zippers um, or stainless steel. And I like this because it doesn't make a lot of noise and also you can wear this jacket open without attracting too much attention because it's green. Now Rothko decided to still use um, the older style of fully brass zippers. These make a lot more noise. They're actually harder to zipper up. They are more heavy duty though, um, but you can tell when you have this jacket open, you can see it in the sun um, reflecting off of this. So that's definitely a con with this. Um, another thing is the inside of the jackets. This inside part, the olive drab part. What I like about the Rothko is that it's attached to the bottom, so... Let me see if I can separate this so you can see. See, you can pull it apart like that, um, but it's not going to come out. Unlike this, the military issue, which, as you can see, it's not attached. They really weren't attached. Um, the M65s were not attached. But Rothko decided to do it, and that is a really good uh, pro to the Rothko jacket, unlike this jacket. Because look, it's like all white inside, and when this is going up, you can see it. It just, and it also gets in the way sometimes. It's a little bit annoying. But it's definitely, you know, it still works fine, but I definitely like how they designed this more than the genuine issue in that sense. The buttons for the liner, they're, uh, 
they didn't do a good job attaching them. Rothko just does not know how to use buttons, honestly. I have um, a Woodland BDU from Rothko, and it's just the pants and the shirt, the buttons are just falling off. I, I had to sew them back on. It's kind of pointless to get it if you have to sew on the buttons like you're making your own shirt. So that is definitely a problem with Rothko. This, they used very heavy duty string and they just went over it a bunch of times. You see, these are these are gonna stay in. They're not falling out anytime soon. So that's one thing I don't like about uh, the Rothko. Um, now for the straps. Uh, so these were pretty much, well, not pretty much, they were used for just adjusting um, the width of the chest, make it more comfortable as well as breathable. So what I like about the military issue, now they did not come with these. As, as you probably saw in my um, OD green version, I added these on. Um, that's one thing I didn't like about both jackets, they don't come with these. But it's not a big deal to buy them for like four dollars you get four of these things so it works out um, but I really like how this is elastic this one and this one is an elastic but they're both as you can see they're a small size so they can retract easily back in when when you un when you undo this they will go see you can pull them right back in easily uh, now the bad thing about the Rothko is they are not thin, they are super long, and do, do not go back inside the jacket after you pull them. So, I don't know what they were thinking. I literally look borderline homeless when I wear this jacket because this stuff is just hanging out. It looks awful. Uh, you could trip on this stuff, it's just, I don't know what they were thinking. They must have like gotten a drunk person to put this in because honestly this is huge. It's not elastic, and who knows how long this will last. It's already like peeling and fraying. I mean, that is just ridiculous. I did not know what I was getting when I bought this. I just knew I was $10, and I said, you know, it's, it's the same thing. But as you guys can see, Rothko is not the same thing as a real military jacket. They are wannabe military stuff. <laughs> they do make some good stuff, but... um. The field jacket so far, it's it's okay. But uh let's go to the hood and see if that's the same. So with the hood on this, as you can see, it has a nice same coloring. It's an OD green zipper, also has an OD green um, strap here, which attaches to the zipper, which I like. Unlike this, which is brass and you can't even cover it like the zipper at least you could cover that but you can't cover this it doesn't have any string that attaches to this so when you're wearing it you have to kind of feel for the zipper and then it doesn't work as well as just having a nice string attached so let's open these two up okay this thing literally got stuck okay there we go one thing I didn't like about these military jackets is that inside it was all frayed and they didn't do a good job finishing inside. So that was definitely a con for the military issue. But Rothko did, they redeemed themselves by making it all nice inside, no strings hanging around and it's easily accessible to hood. Now the hood itself is not redeeming at all. It has these huge strings on it, again, just like the bottom. I don't know what they were thinking when they did that. Military Issue has these nice, small little strings and a nice quality hood. So as you can see, one nice thing about this hood is that it doesn't pull out. It stays right in. It's attached to the inside of the jacket. Let me move this one out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about. It's it just attached to that zipper area, and it has a nice extra flap, so it goes over the zipper, and no rain or snow will get in. So that is definitely a pro for the military issue. Unlike the Rothko, which they literally got like this. Look at this. It's like super long. It just keeps coming out. It, you gotta be kidding me. And you have to button it in. 
The problem is, when you button this hood into the jacket itself, see it goes right in there. What happens? The zipper isn't covered. Snow will get in, rain will get in. So, that is just very poorly designed, the hood. Just, literally, look at it. It looks like a drunk person made it. Um, and one really thing about it, it's really funny. Uh, where does it say? When hood is used, lower extension shall be worn over neck opening, preventing water from entering opening. Okay. I don't see any extra hood to go over that. But, yeah. I guess they just copied what the military ones would say. But yeah, so that's the hood of these jackets. Let's go to the back of them. The back is, yes, just important as the front. Now one good thing that Rothko kept in mind was they made it, you see how this is, how this is made so that it can expand like that, the back, that's so your shoulders have more room of movement, and the Rothko did the same thing. Um, and also the fabric, they are both really tough fabrics, so props to Rothko for keeping that the same as a military one. And then, of course, we have the epaulets, which are pretty iconic part of this jacket. And the epaulets are good quality. They don't seem like they're going to be ripping. Same with the military one. And yeah, so they, so they did do a good job. I would say, if you had a choice, go with the military issue jacket. Right away, just go with that jacket. It's going to serve you much better. Um, also, I know I don't have a Rothko liner, but I know they are very noisy and just um, they just make a lot of noise when you're rubbing. So if you're moving uh, with the jacket, you're going to hear a lot of rustling, which is not good. Unlike the military issue lining, which has a nice, it just it doesn't make any noise. So that's good. Um, but yeah. Uh, another thing I almost forgot is we have this part up here. Now this was for just tightening the neck around as you can see. So it keeps you warmer. Uh, this one is an OD green strap as you can see. And then it has a nice velcro. I like that how you can adjust it. It has more velcro. Unlike the Rothko one which just has one place to put the velcro. So you have to really tighten it and it's not as comfortable. And this is not OD green, this is actually camouflage, which I like more, but I don't like how they design the neck part, where it just turns it into a hangman's collar, honestly. But, you know, I didn't know this when I picked it up at a flea market. But Rothko, of course, again, is it's, it's good. It's, it's a good jacket, the Rothko one. But the military, it just doesn't compare to the military jacket. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. And I hope it was informative and maybe saved you a few dollars <laughs> for buying a real one instead of a fake. And I hope it was uh, informative as well so you can know what you're getting. And yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. And maybe I will answer them, maybe not. And like always, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Alright, bye.